Hello and welcome to Brawl Duel, this time we have the Battle of Heroes, a minigame mod for Skyrim. A few weeks back we covered the Beggar's Brawl Arena, a mod that added a few new minigames, from slot machines to blackjack to a fighting arena where you could place bets. This time we have a single card game for you, inspired by minigames from the Witcher and Fable series. To play you just need to head to any tavern and find a regular customer, or even just the innkeeper. You'll also need at least 10 gold, because after all it is a betting game. If you watched our first gambling video, you'll immediately see how much more polished this is in comparison. At the start of the game, you're sent to an entirely new top-down view of the table and you're asked to enter your bet amount. The game itself is very simple. Each player draws three cards with numbers on them ranging from 1 to 10, and it's basically a game of chance. The winner is the person who draws the highest total number of their three cards, so the absolute max you can get is 30 or three tens. However, there's a couple of ways you can tip the odds more in your favour. Shortly after the cards are drawn, you have the option to cheat and swap out a single card for another one. As you can probably imagine, cheating isn't always safe and sometimes the other person will catch you. If that happens, you'll forfeit about half of the bet and then continue to play with your original cards. So as you can see on screen now, I tried to cheat and was caught so I have to pay 10 gold up front and then we continue to play. The chance of successfully cheating depends on your pickpocket skill and if you get away with it, it'll also increase your pickpocketing level too. The next phase of the game comes in a form of a dice roll. You can pay a small amount of the bet to the other person and then roll two dice, which is then added together and added to your original number. So again, looking at this example, I decided to roll and paid 4 gold to Orgar. I rolled a 9, which gets added to my original 17 to make 26. So the dice is a way of asking the player, are you willing to sacrifice some gold for a higher chance to win? If I drew 3 cards and got something really low, like less than 10, I'd probably be better off not paying the extra gold to roll the dice. Then if I'm lucky, the other person will roll and you'll at least get some gold back. The opposite can be applied if you draw something high. If you get something like 25, maybe you don't need to waste the extra gold. Or you could play it safe and almost guarantee victory with a dice roll. After that phase, both players reveal their cards and the loser pays the winner the full bet amount. So that's it, nice and simple and quite fun to play. The dice roll and cheating adds a bit of complexity to it, although it's still ultimately a game of chance. What we like the most about the mod is how well it's integrated. Everything's clean and fits in nicely. It also acts as a nice base for some more card games in the future. If somehow a triple triad inspired game for Final Fantasy was added, it would keep us busy for dozens of hours. We also really appreciate the smaller touches, like how the other player will occasionally say something, cough or make noises so it actually feels like they're sitting there with you. Maybe that could even be incorporated into the cheating system. So hearing the other player take a drink mid-game means you have a few seconds to swap out a card. It's a small thing but it'll add a bit of actual skill to the cheating system, and it's also a little more immersive than the tooltip that currently pops up. Another small touch is that cheating will actually affect your relationship with the other person, so if they catch you cheating, it'll have side effects outside of the card game. At any time, you can also head into the stats menu and actually see how many games you've played, won, lost and all the gold amounts too. It's a small thing, but it really helps tie it all together. Overall, it's a fun little game. There's probably not hours of gameplay there, but playing a few games every time you stay the night at an inn should be an extra bit of fun, and it's also a great way to gamble away all that extra gold. Hopefully the author expands onto other games, particularly those that are based on skill rather than chance. If you're interested in the mod then you can find a link down below. And if you're in between Skyrim playthroughs and want another game to play, head on over to g2a.com for some cheap games. You can even use our discount code MODS for an extra 3% off at checkout. That's all for this spotlight, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy, and thanks for watching.